Hey everybody, John Wagnon here with Dev Central. We're coming to you with another Lightboard lesson post of the week. And today we're going to talk about uh, redirects and specifically redirects that use data groups. A lot of people love redirects and rightfully so, they're awesome. Uh, but sometimes you may have a whole host of, you know, host names that you want to redirect to different things. So rather than like, hey, if anyone comes to this one host, then I always want to send them to this place. You may have a hundred different hosts that you want to send to a hundred different places and each one is tied to a different one. So in that case, rather than just doing like one eye roll, for example, uh, that, would, that would redirect from one place to another, again, maybe you have this whole list. So, and, uh, and there, there's been some questions and answers uh, on Dev Central very recently about this, so we wanted to kind of attack this really quick. So as you probably know, uh, when you have a data group, and I'm gonna just put uh, data group up here, so data group, Data groups are organized in a specific way. You can have, you can, uh, you can create data groups based on um, IP address. You can do, and you can do strings. And I'm going to talk about these two specifically. There are a couple of other ways you can import some stuff. You can do uh, uh, integers. But anyway, specifically for what we're talking about, you would want to create a data group based on either maybe an IP address or a string. And specifically, uh, we'll talk about strings right now. Uh, the IP address, by the way, is, is if you want to redirect just based on IP address. Let's say someone hits a specific IP address and you want them to send them to another IP address, which you can totally do that using an IP address based data group. But in this case, let's say, let's say ultimately you want to send someone from, I'll just say www.example.com and you want to send them over to, uh, let's say, www.test.com. And then let's, and I'll, I'll just use that one as the example, but let's say, for example, you have a hundred more of these where it's not just example.com to test.com, maybe it's example one to test one, maybe it's example two to test two, maybe it's, you know, whatever. Um, so it's not always going from one to the same place um, every single time. You've got a whole bunch of different ones going on. So we're going to create a data group. We're going to use strings. And in a data group, whenever you create a data group, you're going to call it something. So in this specific example, uh, I'll call it redirect. So I'm going to go in to create a data group. I'm going to name it redirect. And it's going to be a strings-based data group. All right, so now we're in the data group. And a couple of things you can do in the data group, or a couple of things you need to do, is you need to have the actual string. So in this case, we're going to put www.example.com. And then, uh, so that's the, that's the string. I'll just put string right there. And then there's going to be a thing called the value. All right? So value. So what is the value of that string? And the value here is what we're going to put as www.test.com. All right, so, and then you keep doing that over and over and over with all the different strings and all the different values that are associated to that string. So now you have your data group all built out. It's called redirect again in this specific example. So how do you make it all work? So on your virtual server, you've already got a virtual server built and all that, you're gonna, you're gonna create an I rule in this case. Um, and the I rule, I won't use the exact syntax, but I'll go through a pretty, uh, pretty good example of exactly what you do. So you're going you're gonna to create an I rule, and it's going to be based on um, when HTTP request, all right? Because as we all probably know, I rules are event-based driven things, the, you know, this, this script. So when an HTTP request happens, you are going to want to... Um, interrogate this data group and you're going to want to say, hey, I need to know if the HTTP request uh, is, is one of these strings that is listed in the data group. So you're going to put an if statement in there and you're going to say if, and then this is this, these are the specific uh, commands that you're going to use. There's a class command, so you're going to say class, and then there is a match command. And what this basically does is this is going to uh, ultimately match against the contents of the data group. So class, match, and then I'm going to kind of wrap this around a little bit so I don't go off the screen. Uh, we're going to look at the HTTP host and then also the uh, HTTP URI. All right, so 
if those match, the question is, what do we want them to match? And the answer is, I'm gonna, and I'm gonna kinda come down here, sorry, I kinda start over to the right. Uh, I'm gonna say equals, and you could use equals, you could use starts with, begins with, contains, you can use any kind of uh, you know, command here that you would find appropriate, but equals. And then I'm gonna put redirect right here because that is the name of my data group, all right? So to kind of go through the logic again real quick, when an HTTP request happens on the virtual server that's, that has this I rule attached, if class match, if the host and URI match of something that's equal to something that's listed here in your redirect uh, data group, then this is going to fire. This is going to return true, and it's going to need. It's it's going to be willing to do something. All right. So the next thing is is kind of the way that the redirect happens. So if that happens, then here's the command that you're that you're going to use. I'm going to kind of move over here, but if you can imagine, this kind of just all flows down in the in the I rule. All right. So you're going to put HTTP redirect redirect. All right, so what do we want to redirect? We're going to use this exact same uh, terminology here with one slight difference, and it's an important difference. Um, we're going to say class match again. And, uh, I'm going to kind of wrap around here. Sorry for the uh, wraparounds all today. So class match, and then here's the, critical, here's the critical difference on the redirect. Class match, then we're going to put a dash value, all right? Dash value, and then we're going to put the HTTP host um, along with HTTP URI and then um, equals, whoop, equals, goodness, that's horrible penmanship, I apologize, equals uh, redirect. All right, so um, if, if all this matches based on the contents of the data group now called redirect, then we are going to do an HTTP redirect and then we're going to match no longer on the actual string of the redirect uh, data group value, but we're gonna match on the value of that string. So now this value right here points directly back to the value here. So it's, it's going to redirect to this location because it matched on this location. All right, so the host name and the URI that came into this had a match here, so it's gonna redirect to the value portion of the data group. So that's how you can use um, data groups to accomplish redirects with an I rule. And again, the, the way that this becomes really powerful is not if you just have one host to another host, but rather if you have, say you have hundreds of these things with a big old list of data group uh, values that you wanna be able to manipulate. And then if anything ever happens, it's like, you know, I don't wanna go from example.com to test.com anymore. I wanna go from example.com to, you know, test you know, test1.com uh, or whatever, that's not an exclamation point, test1.com, well then all you have to do is update your data, or yeah, your data group over here, the logic all stays the same and you're good to go. So hopefully, uh, hopefully that makes sense, hopefully you've learned a little bit about redirects and how you can use those with data groups. So thanks for watching this post of the week and we'll see you guys out there in the community.